enough of those pets. Tomorrow is National Pet Day. This is a day to celebrate our furry friends. So to keep your pets looking fashionable, joining me now is Julie Jabara from Rough Stitch and Bruce Salary, of course. So let's talk a little bit about your bu your business before we even show anyone the very stylish pups we have coming out right now. Julie, you decided to start a business where you were doing couture clothing for for pets. For pets. How did that? How did the idea come to you for that? Um. So. I wasn't a dog lover, crazily enough, prior, and my husband wanted a dog, so I surprised him for his birthday. Yeah. And um, we put him on Instagram, and his account just kept growing and growing, and he was so tiny, he weighed less than a pound, so I would dress him in the wintertime. Oh. And um, when I was posting pictures, people would always reach out to me and say, where are you getting his clothing? It's so cute. And I started getting requests because I was making them yes. to make custom handmade clothing. and. So the business grew. That is incredible. Okay, we're gonna meet her dog. Her dog is at Mighty Morky, by the way, 18K followers on Instagram. <laughs> so we're gonna get to meet this famous puppy soon. Uh, that's Winston, right? That's right. Is the name of your dog. First, let's look at, at a few of the fashions uh, from Rough Stitched. Uh, introducing our first fashions, we have these two lovely dogs matching the owner. What are they wearing, Julie? So, New Tier is wearing a reversible jersey t-shirt and her mom Elaine here has a matching shirt that I uh, made as well. And our best sellers, if I can show you, are our pupperals. So if you take a look underneath, there's OMG some pupperals with uh, straps that go across. Um, what's the name of this dog? This is Newt. Newt, can you turn Newt around so we can see the overalls because... Yes, and, and this real is serious stuff. Stuff. And there are real and, uh, and if you really like to be playful with your pup, you can put treats in here since they're real pockets and watch them chase their tail. <laughs> and Winston here is wearing um, some red pupperals yeah. with a matching gingham dapper dude dress shirt. <laughs> and we have a whole series of different prints and um, I and also both. love the functionality of the overalls because you were able to lift the dog up. Surely like that, that's, the that's useful. That's Aww. useful in some way. It's very useful with my dog. Yes, yeah. Well, especially if they're really super light like that. When that dog first came out of here with the denim, I was like, I could use some jeans like that. <laughs> I could use some jeans like that. Give them a big round of applause. That's lovely. Thank you so much. Now, this next dog um, will just steal your heart. I mean, outfit or not, this is Porter. Give Porter some. <laughs> Like, is the shaking okay, Adam? Oh, is that excited. normal? Oh, just excitement. Excited. Okay, let's talk about what Porter's wearing. So Porter and Daddy, Adam, <laughs> are wearing a matching bow tie set. It's yes. actually a five-piece set. So you get the collar with the bow tie and the leash. And, and the human, or as we like to say, the humans, yes. get their option of a bow tie or a tie with a matching pocket square. And oh, so this is also from your company? Yes, it's a whole five-piece set that comes all together, and they're yes. all handmade. Adam, and you can go to a wedding now with Porter, absolutely. right? Yes. So cute. We actually get a ton of uh, custom requests for weddings. I've been to a wedding before, and the couple had their dog as part of the ceremony. Listen, we're living in a, a very luxury <laughs> existence yeah. right now. The dog was part of the ceremony, and I'm sure this would have been an amazing thing if they could have had the matching Right, a outfit. flower dog. A flower dog. <laughs> absolutely. Wow. Oh, so lovely. Okay, give Porter and Adam some love. Thank you. <laughs> Get-ups. I definitely see Bruce in the Elvis one. Totally. You should try that, yeah. Bruce. Well, in that case, the dog's fur would be so apropos to the chesty <laughs> outfit of <laughs> Elvis and impersonators worldwide. It, it's suitable. Yeah. Julie, Absolutely. these are all handmade. Tell me yes. a little bit about some of the, the costumes or the outfits there. So I, I really started pretty simple by making uh, doga wear, for example, which is a doggy yoga yeah. jogging suit because doga does exist. Right. Um, like doo doo lemon. Absolutely. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I might steal that. You steal that. <laughs> I'll steal that. Thank you. Trademark. Mm -hmm. um, and then it just seemed to grow. I started to do f more fashionable things like the Ruxedos to the couture and custom. So, I mean, I could do pretty much anything. They There's... look great, Julie. And I'll tell you what else looks great. Somebody is zooming in here on his own, in his own ride. Check out the whip on this little guy. This is 
Winston. This is Winston. This is Winston. <laughs> Winston, also so known as Mighty Morphe. This is the Instagram star. He's very cool. Yes. You see how he rides his whip? Yes. Like just one paw? One yeah. paw. Very cool. He's very chill. He's yeah. very chill. Also wearing a matching distress sweatshirt, I Absolutely. might add. So do you make both of those? I do. Oh my goodness. I did, do. You, did you let the dog distress the sweatshirt himself? <laughs> like did you just throw it to me like ga 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 No, but chew it up. No, but that's a great idea for the next time. You're around. welcome. Why I am not? full of ideas. Listen, here. it'll save you some money.